Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am going to put the custom mix I had made onto this tumbler. I prepped it and painted it a seaside from Rustoleum two times. And I am just going to glitter it. Just full coverage glitter so we can see how this mix looks. I put um, a little bit of resin on this already and it sat a few minutes while I coated a couple of other cups. Um, nothing special. And this only has a little bit of chunky in it so I don't think I'm going to worry too much about patting it down. I only picked one glitter that was a chunky chunky. so because I wanted it more fines. But, oh my goodness, it's super pretty. I love it over this base. So, I'm going to make sure I have full coverage on my edge. This coat will just be one and done. It'll be fine. So I will show you, um, I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours, I'm going to get a flood coat on it, and then I'll be back when I'm ready to decal this one and tell you what I'm going to do with it. This is a 14, 14 ounce skinny from Maker Flow, by the way. So I'm going to set it aside to dry, I'm not going to put it on a turner to dry at this point, I'm just going to put it on my drying rack. Okay, so here's what I decided to do with this cup since it's um, reflective of me, I guess I'm going to say. Um, but it's still going to be like universal. So this cup is for the giveaway box. So I do want it to have my stamp on it. So I'm going to apply these decals my signature hibiscus turtle that I love so much. This is what goes on pretty much all of my personal cups. And I'm going to put a hibiscus on the bottom. And a little turtle on the bottom. I'm not going to put any text on this cup, so. It's just going to be these. And I didn't shut my craft room door, so excuse my dog panting in the background. Fill that in a little bit more. Don't want it quite so. Ooh, look at me, I'm super symmetrical. like quite a bit of the glitter showing through in the end. Part of the reason I'm going to do 
so many decals. I'm going to put one of these over here, too. I'm going to put the other big one up at the top. I cut them. I'm going to use them. So, one more little turtle. Put that one in there. sneak this flower in here okay so all decaled up um, I'm going to take it outside and give it a coat of uh, Krylon fusion rolling surf spray paints and then when that's dry I'm gonna go over the top with just rust-oleum white and then I will come in and remove the decals and I may do a couple little like geode spots. I haven't decided yet. I'll see what I think once we get the decals removed. So I'll be back. Okay, I am ready to pull decals on this. This is one of those you thought it was smooth till you spray painted it and then you realize that it is anything but smooth. But. Okay. And I'm not going to make you watch me peel all of this because it's going to take a few minutes. And I do think I'm going to go ahead and um, do some little geode splash because of the fact that it's um, kind of lumpy. It'll help hide some of that, I hope. But, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of the decal removed. Um, You'll notice that the vinyl is coming off in pieces. For whatever reason, when you spray paint over the vinyl, it just tends to do that sometimes. I'm not sure what about the spray paint makes the vinyl kind of lose its structure sometimes. Um, I'm just using a set of Harbor Freight picks for my weeding tools right now because my pin pens are all shot and um, I haven't ordered any new tools. I have a bunch in my Amazon list, but I haven't ordered any yet. That's probably something that I'll get with my payout for the month. Because um, these picks work, but they're not quite ideal. So, um, But I will be back when this is completely weeded and I'm ready to do a couple little geode sections. I'm just going to do some small parts. Nothing too major. Got to get the rest of this one before I forget them. So I will be back. Okay, so it is all weeded now. And I have a little cup with some acetone in it. Move that out of the way. Uh, this is my preferred acetone. I get it at Walmart. It's just nail remover. Um, I just like the way that one works best. So I have some cut up pieces of t-shirt. And I am just going to pick a spot and start rubbing the paint back off. all the way down to the glitter layer. Turn the t-shirt around here and there. The blue you're seeing is the blue paint that I did first. Um, I kind of like when the blue ends up over the white a bit like that. So... But 
you can wipe off as much or as little as you want. I'm going to go right over the edge with this one. And turn your t-shirt frequently to get a cleaner spot as needed. I'm going to put one up here along my edge. Um, I don't wear gloves when I do this because even though acetone's really not great on your skin, the acetone kind of just eats the nitrile gloves and makes them sticky anyways. So if you want to fight with sticky gloves, go for it. And I'm going to grab a fresh piece. fly in my room. Of course there is. I'll have to get him before I epoxy here. At least I think it was a fly. It's fall bug season. Stink bugs. Box elder bugs. Um, I noticed at work last night we were loaded with wolf spiders, which is lovely. Those I could do without. I think I'm just going to do a little bit to here, and I'm actually going to call it good. Bring that up and just connect it. Or almost connect it even. So, I also have a thing of rubbing alcohol ready. I'm going to get some on a fresh rag. And I'm going to just clean up the spots a little bit. won't really take the paint off it'll just kind of clean up the paint that the acetone it will take the paint off but it's going to take significantly more elbow grease than the acetone requires I should put it that way I just like to use it to clean up the edges a little bit and to sparkle up the glitter again So, I'm going to bring in some of that blue up um, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and let the paint firm back up and then I'll be back to get the resin on it Alright, I am ready to get the coat of epoxy on here I am going to use a little bit of my girl's best friend diamond dust in here it's fitting since that's in the giveaway too but I'm just gonna use a tiny bit it'll help cover up these blemishes and things as well so I'm just gonna take like three scoops about that big and that's it that's all I'm gonna give it uh, this is about 20 mLs. It might be slightly too much since this is only a 14 ounce cup, but it's all right. Just get that incorporated really well. And there we go. 
and I am just going to get it applied. Look at that sparkle. And the glitter underneath wakes right back up with the resin anyways. That was just double because it was sanded. But the little bit of extra sparkle on top certainly doesn't hurt anything. And it should help hide those uneven spots I had, hopefully, somewhat anyways. Okay, just gonna get it smoothed out even. And let it dry. And I will bring you down for a close up as soon as I get this glove off. glove off. I will bring you down and let you see it. There's my signature turtle. Look how freaking sparkly this is. I love it. To the bottom. I love it. So there you go. There is my custom mixed glitter with one of my favorite cheats on the top. And this cup is going in the prize box for my 5k giveaway as I mentioned in that video Sunday. So well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching.